And your top story on this Friday evening, one Midland neighborhood has had enough with the constant theft, and now they're banding together. Good evening. I'm Katie Orth. And I'm Eddie Flores. Big Two's Caleb Califano has more on how the community is starting their own watch. This neighborhood watch meets here every month, and since then they've gathered multiple neighbors and printed even these flyers. And it all stems after Brittany Land had her trucks broken into seven times. Most people want their neighborhood to be calm, without a lot of noise, and definitely without a lot of trouble. Unfortunately for Brittany Land, the latter hasn't been the case. I didn't realize how big of a problem it was until it happened to us. And the more that I talked to the police department and my neighbors, I, I realized what a big problem we're having. Land's had multiple criminals break into her vehicles, and other neighbors in the area have seen porch pirates pick packages right off their doorstep. So that's why last month she began a neighborhood watch. I called the Midland Police Department, um, got a meeting together, got the neighborhood together. We made tons of flyers. Land says that the neighborhood watch is something everybody can join and should join as the amount of thefts continue to rise. Even if you can't get out of the house, you can still look out the window every time you walk by. Um, something as small as reporting street lights being out is a big help. As we see our constant rise in population, we can also see a constant rise in crimes like theft. And for Land and her neighbors, they're just trying to curb the problem in their community. I think that it's our responsibility as members of this community to step up and, and take action. Now, Land hopes her message of a neighborhood watch doesn't just spread through her neighborhood, but throughout the whole city. In Midland, Caleb Califano, Big Two News.